Hi, welcome. Simon here, and I hope you're doing well. I have my Dell laptop XPX, and in this video, I'll be showing you on how to replace the keyboard. Some of the keys on on the laptop here are not working, so I'll walk you through step by steps on how to do that. Uh, the first thing you would like to do is to go ahead and check your model here. Make sure you have the same model as I do. This is the Dell regular model P71G. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you like to do is to remove the back panel. I'll be using a T5 screwdriver. This is a torque. You're going to remove the screws here. So there is a screw on the side because there's a seal. The seal is to, uh, for my case, I have a seal, but you don't have a seal um, in, in your case here. And also there's a one screw here. I believe this screw right here in the middle is the, uh, is it the torque or something else? It's a fillet. So get your Phillips screwdriver and remove that Phillips screw right in the center. See if you can pry it open. All right, so once you remove all the torques and the center Phillips screw, you can remove the back panel. Once the back panel is removed, pretty much this is the entire um, laptop. So it doesn't have any CPU fan. It just basically a plain um, copper heatsink. And this is your M.2 SSD drive. Let's go ahead and remove that. Get a Phillips screwdriver. Remove the two screws. Remove the um, copper heatsink. And now you can slide the M.2 drive to your left to remove it. Now this is 256 gigabyte. If you want to upgrade to a larger one, you can do that. All you have to do is to go ahead and get yourself a USB adapter like this. And then go ahead and insert the uh, M.2 reader. And that's how you can clone it over to the larger drive if you prefer to have a bigger um, M.2 drive. Now, I'll make a separate video on how to clone. Go check the link in the description below. Uh, that's how you can clone it over and get a larger drive for yourself. All right. That being said, let's move on to the next. This is all about keyboard replacement. So we're going to disconnect the battery by sliding down the connector towards yourself. Get a Phillips screwdriver. Remove the battery. Okay, once the battery is removed, now you can actually see all these cables are still connected to it. We need to disconnect those cable. So what you want to do is to lift up the um, clipper and slide this little wire or flex cable to your left. Open up the clipper, slide this flex cable down to yourself. Open up the clipper, slide it down. Open up the clipper, slide it down. Clipper, slide it down, clipper, slide it down. And this is the CMOS battery. 
and we are not going to disconnect the CMOS battery. I'm just going to um, lift up the battery and put it on the side here. And this is your speaker. You want to slide the connector to your right. And that's how you remove that speaker. Now let's go ahead and get yourself to remove some of the screws. The motherboard screw. Let's go ahead and remove them. This is your Wi-Fi. So once you remove that Wi-Fi screw, you can you need to remove that bracket. Now left is the white, black is on the right. So let's go ahead and disconnect by simply lift it straight up, or you get a plastic prying tool and help yourself to leverage and just lift it straight up to disconnect the Wi-Fi. And this is the webcam connector. Go ahead and slide it away from your body. So towards the direction. And here comes the Wi-Fi. All right. So there you have it. Now continue working on the motherboard. We are removing the this is your LCD screen um, bracket connector. So go ahead and remove that. Now to remove this thing, you just have to lift it straight up. So let me go ahead and get myself underneath this plastic and then just lift the, the connector straight up. Okay. And then here comes the connector, slide it away from you. That's how you disconnect the entire screen. Working on the motherboard now. Pretty much you need to disassemble the entire uh, laptop. I mean, sorry. Yeah. Disassemble the entire thing to replace the keyboard. Okay, once you have all the screws removed, now the entire motherboard will just come right out. The, the whole thing. Okay, now if you want to find the replacement for the motherboard, go ahead and look up the model here. It says 0DK74X. Okay, let's put the motherboard on the side. Now the, the keyboard here is replaceable. You don't have to replace the entire um, palm rest, meaning that you can remove all the screws. You see all this tiny screw? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are plenty of them right underneath here as well. So go ahead and remove all the screws here, 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 here. Once you remove all the screws, then the motherboard can just come right out. Okay. And I'm not going to do that for this purpose. I know I show you to you that you need, to, um, I mentioned to do a keyboard replacement. Um, I apologize. You know what? Let's just do it for you. I sorry. I'm going to take it back. We are going to do what I promised to do. Correct. So let's do that. Remove this one. This is the SSD bracket, this screw here. The reason why I was hesitant to do it because I do not have the new keyboard with me. All I wanted to do is to uh, get the serial number on the keyboard here so that I can place an order for it. Um, since, since I do not have the keyboard, I was thinking like, ah, oh, let's not take out the screws because I might mix match the screw later on. So that, that is the reason why I was hesitant to that. But you know what? It's all right. Let's go ahead and do it. It's not that difficult. Just remove the screws.
right once you have the keyboard removed i mean the screw removed you want to go ahead and make sure that the cables are not attached to it and and now you can remove the entire keyboard just like that okay so once you remove the keyboard if you want to find a replacement go ahead and look it up here uh, the model for this is probably 0WPCF9 that's the one certain keyboard might have a certain language mine is the US keyboard uh, yours could be you know a different keyboard like the UK or different language um, but the standard of replacing the keyboard is pretty much the same uh, you just have to remove all the screws and get the keyboard out and with the new replacement you just install and do the reverse process and therefore you would have a keyboard replacement done all right so what I'll do is I'll try to link the tools and the keyboard in the description below I usually get mine from Amazon or eBay I'll link them in the description go ahead and check it out and hopefully you can follow along uh, my video with the uh, parts ready on hand and you can do the keyboard replacement yourself all right I hope that you learned something today if you find this video is helpful please go ahead and give me a like and subscribe I appreciate you for watching thank you until next time bye now